Hey guys, Chris here again with Project Nerf, and today we're going to be reviewing another gel ball blaster from my friends at Fervent Toys. I think you're going to like it. Alright guys, before we get into the video, full disclosure, these products were sent to me by the kind people at Fervent Toys to be reviewed. Now I have the same product in two different colors, I'll show off both of them. Um, there was no exchange of monies or anything like that. Now I want to further that disclosure with you a little bit. The folks at Fervent Toys, after I've done uh, quite a few reviews for them now, I think this is four, uh, invited me to join their affiliate program, which means uh, any of these that uh, would sell as a direct result of the link in the description box that I'll put uh, down here um, for you to purchase one, I would get a little cut off. I have declined to accept that invitation uh, for reasons of uh, impropriety. Uh, I can't think of a better reason to give a bias review than money, so I don't want people thinking, oh, okay, he's only said he likes it because he's getting paid. That's not the case. I'm not receiving anything to do the review on this. They sent the product. I'm reviewing it. You're going to get my honest opinion. Let's get at it. All right, guys, trying to do this in the shade because it is freaking hot out here. Um, but as you can see, this is brand new in the package. The plastic's never been opened, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. Disclaimer, I opened the other one so I could charge the battery on it. But I want you to see the real deal here. A little piece of tape. And this one says it's red. The other one is the yellow one. Okay, so one of the th nice things about stuff from Fervent is it is very nicely packaged and boxed and labeled. Okay, so in this, we're getting the gel ball blaster gun, 10,000 gel balls, a hopper. Uh, it says infrared sight, but that looks like some kind of laser. Uh, safety glasses, the connector for the hopper, uh, charger, and the battery. So let's take a look in here. All right, so... Set that stuff off to the side. Again, safety glasses, always nice. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, that's cool. Look at the graphics on that. That's nice. Um, okay, um, down here at the bottom is going to be our battery door. It's on a hinge, right? Here's the cable in there. I'll just put a battery in. All right, it's definitely an electric tr trigger. Um, Really has that 1911 feel, and the handle, guys, because the battery goes in it, is, is quite girthy. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this, okay? So one of the things that I like to do is test the quality of plastic. So I'm going to grip the grip this, and uh, hopefully you can see here, so no grip. All right, well, that's as strong as I can squeeze it, and it really didn't do anything. It's made of good quality plastic here. All right, this is the hopper connector so it's going to slide on like so lock in place the hopper looks like a little hand grenade i don't know how many that holds i'm gonna say a hundred but i'm sure it's probably closer to two and that would just screw into that like this and this thing is ready to go throw your battery in there so let's take a look at some of the other stuff uh, again we got 10,000 gel balls, 5,000 blue, 5,000 orange, which is nice. The battery and the charger. And then this little laser sight, which is going to go on the bottom pick rail. Okay, that is this little green tab. We're going to remove that. And then it's got a switch on top. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there we go. Down in the box, it's a legitimate little laser. And that's going to slide on the bottom rail like that all right let's uh that is neat um really really cool anyway let's get a battery in it uh get a few gel balls in it and uh get it on the chrono see what it does all right so we've got the battery in it the hopper loaded up with gel balls um so well, let's turn on the uh little crony here hello chronograph there we go all right both of our sensors are good we're gonna set that to about big as we can get. Now, guys, obviously, this is not going to be a competition grade gel ball blaster. So. Oh, 
Oh, P.S. It's full auto. Uh, yeah, we're coming in right around uh, you know, uh, middle 90s uh, FPS, which is actually pretty good for a little backyard blinker like this. So, anyway, let's get it on the range and uh, see if we can hit anything with it. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, so we've got our little gel ball uh, hand pistol here. It even says 45 auto um, on, on the side here. I don't know if you can read it. And right in there, right at the tip of my finger, maybe you can see it. That's the on-off switch for it. So right now I have it in the off position. We're just going to slide that and away she goes. Let's see if we can hit anything with it. All right, we're going to start on the 20. Yep, no problem hitting the 20. 40. No problem hitting the 40 either. Let's go for the long bomb, see if we can hit the 60. Yeah, actually, uh, we, we did. Um, you got to aim a little high at 60 feet, but uh, pretty effective. Nice. Wow, uh, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed by this thing. Um, again, they sent me two of them, two different colors. So, here is the other one. This one was marked as yellow. This one was marked as red. Yellow. And the graphics on these are great. They're bright. They're colorful. Um, so, we're going to flip this one on. Give it a go. Hell, I'll even turn on a little laser sight. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see it, hopefully, on the target. No problem on the 20. No problem on the 40. Yeah, then I might as well turn on this laser sight. Oh, there it is. What do you think, guys? Dual wheel? That is a ton of fun in a small package. I am very, very impressed with these. Wow. Uh, still got a few rounds in these hoppers. Again, I don't know how much they hold, but I mean, I said 100, but my guess is it's probably closer to 200 on these. These, uh, they hold quite a few. Round's complete. Let's go talk about them. Yeah, guys, how about that? Um, this thing is super, super cool. I really, really like it. It seems to be built quite sturdily. Didn't have any malfunctions with it. It fires great. Looks great. I love this red one. The graphics on it are so, so pretty. Um, and the yellow one is also a great looking blaster. that around so you can see. I had no problems or malfunctions with either one. Uh, the great thing about these little pistols, you can dual wield them. Um, and these, these would be great for a backyard battle. If you want to get something colorful and bright uh, for the kids, this is, uh, this is something really, really cool, guys. So I'm going to put a purchase link to them in the description box below. Highly recommend um, because they are sweet. Guys, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, as we've got a lot of great future content coming up for you, including an announcement for another big, big giveaway, so you don't want to miss that. Give us a thumbs up, hit us in the comments, and in the description box below, as always, guys, I will include links to the Facebook page, 
links to the shop, and our email address if you want to drop us a line that way, and the fan mail address if you're old-fashioned and want to write and send something in. Guys, till next time, this is Chris for Project Nerf saying, have a blast.